Hey, Tana, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. So I have some jewelry here that I picked up. I went across town to three locations, and I'm going to show you what I got. First, I'm going to show you the box that I have. And this is a, uh, the Bombay Company, a beautiful cherry wood box. It's some nice handles on the side. And I have everything inside of it. Let's see how it has the compartments. I have um, James Avery, a little gold, some pearls, um, some costume as well. So I'm going to get started showing you in just a minute here. I Before I get started, let me mention that some of a majority of it will be for sale. I'll let you know what I'm not going to pre-sell. If you see anything in here that you want to pre um, buy from me before my sale on Saturday, contact me at vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. My email will be down in the description section underneath the video as well. It's always right there, as long with along with other pertinent information to my channel, such as my sales schedule. Um, for a little while here, I'm going to be doing Saturday and Monday sales. Uh, Saturday, I come on at 2 p.m. Eastern time, and Mondays, it's going to be 7 p.m. Eastern time. I also put a pre-recorded sales video out this week. I put it out on Wednesday. There's still a lot of jewelry left from that if you want to go back and check it out and see if there's anything you wanted. Um, I usually, when I do a pre-record sales video, offer things cheaper than I had prior. Um, also, before I get started, can you let me know what my camera looks like? Um, I'm trying to get the lighting adjusted on this laptop because I, I like to be camera up. And when I'm in StreamYard, everything streams well, but it doesn't seem to be doing as much. Um, I don't think it is. Just let me know how it looks. I'd appreciate it. Also, let me know, you know what your favorite piece is. I like um, appreciate interaction with with um, those who do come to view my videos. All right, so let me get started. Um, oh, I've got a scarf. This I'm going to keep this. It's rayon. Um, I thought it was really pretty. See how it's this uh, on the side, the fringe, and then kind of looks tie dye ish or something. And it's a nice, it feels very nice in the material. Okay, now let me get started. I have a pair of Sulpata pearls. I'll show these. Oh, the lighting, see, it's showing the picture better. I got it to go down. It had a, a lot of brightness coming out towards me, and I did get it to do that, but the focusing's weird on the laptop, and I've got to figure out why. Anyways, it's signed Sopata um, on here. The arrow, I'll show that when I sell it. Um, and these are Baroque Freshwater Pearls. It's very nice, actually. It has an I-25. The Sopata uh, marking with an R for, I guess, the registered trademark on there. It is a, a lobster claw clasp on that. And these are really nice. They have a really nice luster on them. I'm not going to measure it right now. I'm not, like, doing an act of sale. It's a habit of mine, though. I was getting ready to do, but I don't think I need to right now. But these are beautiful. They are Baroque, as you can see. They're not completely round. They're freshwater culture pearls and quite nice. The luster is very nice on them. They're mirror-like. They're really beautiful fresh um, culture pearls. I'll show you the other pair of pearls I found. These ones have a uh, gold filled findings on them. It's 20% of 14 karat gold. And I think this is lovely. Um, I believe these these are freshwater culture pearls, almost round, okay? And I didn't measure them. Um, they look about seven millimeters, six to seven, something like that. Let me cut the white might drown it out completely. No, there we go. It's There's the clasp that is gold filled, 20% of 14K, like I said. And it is an automatic um, layering of, of pearls here. I think it's rather beautiful. I'll keep these ones. I want to research them more. They're almost round or round. I want to make sure I'm right on freshwater culture. Okay, and not something a little bit better. Let me show you. They're they're round. I, I believe they are would be considered round. So I'll I'll look into the, these ones a little bit. Okay. They're nice though, very beautiful. I have these huge, I may as well go with all the pearls and show you those first. These are 10 millimeter. These are freshwater uh, 925 findings, the backings as well as the post. And uh, these are large peacock pearls. I'm gonna hang them up on the earring holder. Why not? I can take my time here, hopefully you don't mind. Um, these are really cool. I mean, they're big. 
I think the backings are sterling as well, like the original backings to them. Just be sure hanging up on the right thing. I don't have my glasses on. They're on my head. My hair is a mess. Um, it was a long day. They're beautiful. Look, they're 10 millimeters. And I believe they're freshwater peacock pearls. I'll keep I I will I will look these ones up too just to make sure because they are round. I just to confirm, you know, that they're not something better than fresh water. Um it's something you should do when you get them because uh just to make sure. Um oh I have I found a watch. Now you normally don't buy watches, but I'm starting to like want to mess around, not mess around, but start to pick watches up a little bit. This is a company called W W I T T N A U E R W Swiss made. I think it is a. I I I have to see. If, I don't know if it's battery or if it's um. You know, not battery or not. I'm gonna look into it. But it's it's only it's only gold plated. Um, I've I've not. I don't do a lot with watches. I just started to, like I said. But it's a beautiful watch. I'm gonna open it up. See if it takes a battery. If it does, I'm going to get one from the jeweler. And I got it at a really good price to see if anybody's interested. It's a very nice watch, actually. Um, but it's gold-plated. Um, I was looking. I saw Swiss made, and I'm thinking that it... I don't think it's battery-operated. But I'll see. It doesn't say, like, if there's, like, jewels or anything. You know, sometimes it'll say, like... Although I didn't look at it close. Okay, so I, I will look at it. But I don't know. The price ranges on these watches looking online can be any. And I think this one is just gold plated. Okay, they're not diamonds. I did put them on my gem tester just to make sure. They can range anywhere from like a hundred uh, up to thousands of dollars. So I'll research this a little bit. I am wanting to start to look at watches a little bit myself. It's a very nice watch. And I think it's just a gold plating on there, though. Not just. It's good enough. Um, let me, I'll get to James Avery in a minute. Let me show you one of the gold pair of earrings. I, they're not real heavy gold earrings. Still a nice find. These ones are weren't identified as gold at all. But these are 14K. They're not real heavy. Um, I think they're about a gram or a gram and a half combined. But uh, they're diamond cut. And the backings are on them as well. It has the original backings. These are about a half of an inch. And they are 14K on those. I have another pair, too. I'll get to them in a minute. They're, like, in different areas of the box. But 14K, not real heavy, but I was, I was still liking them. Um, I found a nice... This is a very nice Brayton, and this one... It, this is gold-plated. I Not gold, sterling-plated on this, I believe. Um... There's the heart with the B. Am I showing it even? There it is. And um, it has this, the clasp as well. That is um, the breed clasp. And it's long, mother of pearl. And this one is sterling plated. They do have sterling jewelry, the older stuff. It's a really long, nice necklace, actually. And we have the, there's... um. Six pieces of mother of pearl, like three on each side. One, two, three. Go back here. Let me hang it up differently. Um, let me show. It's long. It has an extender on. Just like a thirty-two inch necklace, probably. Look, you have the mother of pearl pieces right there, and I believe it's sterling plated. It's a nice necklace. I thought it was nice. Um, they're both on the same side. I don't know how that happened. I was trying to hang it up to show you, and I have the mother of pearl on both sides. It's kind of, kind of funny. Um, I think it would be one that we you would wear long. Um, you know, when you're dressed up like, or all the way down like, you know, like that type of thing, with, with like a dress outfit or whatever. But it's a nice one, and I do think it's plated. I didn't test it or anything, but I can see a ninety-five marking on it. Um, I think this is Antique Cora. Um, let me move that cost. It's beautiful. Look how, oh, look at her. Or vintage. I don't know if it's antique, okay. But it's layered, as you see, like. 
they're fully pronged or beautiful and they're not damaged at all. Look how you have what the findings look like. Can you see that? Looks like little, little like the little clovers almost. And this is the back. I think this may just be vintage. I will confirm though. Okay. The dating on it. That's the backing. It's signed Coro and script. I think it's very beautiful. It's about two inches. It's a really lovely um, pen. Maybe not quite two inches. About an inch and a half. That's the Coro. That. I have... Um, what else do I have? I thought this was cute, so I just grabbed it. It's, it's um, soda light. And you have this little stone bear on it, like a fetish stretch bracelet. See the little bear in the corner? I'm going to turn it around so you can see it better. He's cute. It's a stretch. I thought it was cute. So, um... This is, um, I don't think the findings are sterling on this. I didn't test it, but it doesn't look like it to me. So you have glue, rhinestones, and the toggle clasp. And this is Millefury glass, as you can see, and crystals. And it's long. I didn't measure it, but I can get it over my hand. And I'm a small woman, but I'm not thin, thin. I don't have, like, thin, tiny hands like some people do. I almost like, feel like it looks like an ankle. For a woman, or, or a woman with a bigger wrist. Um, but it, it's nice. You have the Miller Fury beads. I didn't test the metal. I will. I don't think it's sterling. That's the back. This is the front. I already showed you the little stones. It's cute. I picked it up. This necklace is rather beautiful. Very short. Vintage. Um, I believe this is painted. Port, uh, painted. I struggle with it sometimes. With what I have to look it up and make sure. It looks fused. Like fused glass, kind of looks like candy on there, okay? It's very short. I'm going to show you it on the white. Try to show you, like, you have these, um, hold on, let me turn it. The one piece so you can see. I like the color combination. It is a barrel clasp. And, um, and a lovely sherbet orange type of color. And very short. So this is, um, this is a short necklace, probably 15 inches. Which, which is doable. You wear it against your throat. It's, it's not or up on your, depending on how long your neck is. It, it's not, look, I believe that's fused glass. Kind of looks like Miller Fury type of thing. Vintage necklace. I will check it out better um, to see exactly what it is. Um, oh, I have some sterling, some beautiful earrings. Let me show you those. And I'll get to the James Avery and the other pair of gold earrings. Going in order. These are really, really nice. I'm not, um, so not being pre-sold. Um, so far, I'll show you towards the end too. I'm going to study that a little bit more and these pearls that are possibly, um, I don't know if they're freshwater or not. I got to make sure. Okay. The Cora so far, that's, that's what I'll be keeping so far. I think that I showed these earrings as well, because I want to research them. Um, these are really nice. I, they say N D, um, and nine two five, I think, but they have these things, these things. Listen, um, look. I'm going to research these a little bit. You have this hoop, and it it'll it has an area to stop it there. Black onyx, um, carnelian, and mother of pearl, and I think that's um, possibly a malachite. i got to research it a little bit. There's two of them, of course, and I thought that was really cool. There's the bottom side, and they got a little bit of weight on there, sterling, marked as such. I, I will be holding on to these to research them a little bit to see what I think about them. So, so far, it's just three things out of everything. These these are nice. Let me show you these. I thought they were really nice. Greek key sopata with mother of pearl. God, my hair's really sticking. I um my hair's gets on really. I'm gonna hang these up to show them to you. They are marked um with the sopata um uh, arrow and the R. For as register, I think these are vintage as well as that neck, that pearls, the pearls they showed. I believe they're vintage, um, as well. But let me show you. These are beautiful. They have a Greek key in the front. Look, you have the Greek key. Do you see that? Yeah, you do. Okay, uh, mother of pearl. 
signed in the back. I it, it's nine two five the Sapata Arrow and R, but these are nice. They're like kind of like, I guess they have artic they move. They have some articulation. I thought they're I really like them. They're about an inch, and they are definitely Sapata, and I believe they're vintage Sapata. It's vintage. They get. I don't know how long you've been making jewelry. Um, I'll research some more. Oh, I was going to keep these big pearls, the big pearl earrings until my sale as well. Okay, and watch, I mean, because I want to figure out what it is, actually. Um, that won't even be at the sale price. I'm going to research that watch a little bit and get a battery for it or see if it's uh, workable, if it works, if it doesn't have, take a battery. Mm. All right, I have a pair. So, Pata, these are nice amber earrings. Um, and they do glow. These have the French hook, like of the lock in the back. Let me show them to you. Um, it's a pair of like a, a piece of amber is a the average like Baltic amber color you see. I okay, look, they're nice. Those, those are Sopata as well. Somebody even says Sopata collection. I think I found them all at the same place. But there you go. Um amber signed in the back and it has these hooks like lock hook you know like a, um, a french hook to lock it in the back so i thought they were nice little block of amber in there and those are or sopata earrings as well so that's the third that's the three i found three sopata items i have a k24 i bought it um I bought it from Tanya here on YouTube. Let me show it. it I didn't get, I have more than I got too. I saw James Avery and one of their pair of gold earrings. But this is K24. It's called K24 because it's decorated with gold on the top. I believe this one is 1940. This is an older one. Look, it's pretty. I like it. Um, I, I'll keep it for a while and figure out what I'm going to do with it. But it, it is deck, signed K24 on the top. And like I said, what that means is they decorated all of these pieces. Japaning is on there, and they decorated them with 24 karat gold. That's what that means. It's very pretty, don't you think? And it's for a long. Um, it's beautiful, though. It has a, a box clasp. Um, I didn't date it necessarily, like, see what the dating is, but, um, in my past, I, I've had a number of different pieces, never a necklace, and I always end up selling them, but this is a K24. I, isn't it beautiful? It's decorated with 24 karat gold and has Japan ink in the background. That's a fan, and we have pretty lovely, like, tells a little story on it. Um, what's it telling? It has a... I don't know. I know they would give us to girls, I believe, right to pat. I, I can't remember exactly. At a certain age, they would get this. I don't remember all the details. I'm not an expert on that. But I think it's beautiful. These are signs of uh, sterling on the back. These are vintage turquoise. These are nice, actually. Look at them. If you like your screwbacks. They are signed sterling on the back of hair. They need clean. There's the screwback. I'll show you them both. They really need clean. They got a lot of crap, a lot of stuff on them. Um, but they're, I think they're nice. And the turquoise is pretty amazing. Look. See how they're inlaid in there. Chunks put in there. They're about an inch. What else do I have? I still have the James Avery cuff pair of gold earrings. Um, I found Stella and Dot. I'll get to those in a minute. And I think these, um, these are, I'm not going to hang them up, guys. Hopefully you don't mind. Um, Stella and Dot little ribbon earrings. Look how cute. Those are about an inch and a quarter. Maybe a little bit bigger. And I don't know. I think the metal's just silver tone, but they're really cute, don't you think? A pair of Stella and Dot earrings. You'd wear them, like, across, or either way, you can wear them that way or this way. You know, up and down or sideways. They smell. Stella and Dot. I like these tassels. I'm going to hang them up on this earring holder. Um, these have rhinestones um, in the front dangling down and little ropes 
And these are a pair of vintage earrings, look. See the rhinestones are fully pronged, they're underneath there, like you have the leaf going up, they're like hidden behind there. And you have the tassel that is articulated and has pronged rhinestones at the end. The rhinestones are like a um, an amber glass color. Let me make sure I'm correct on that. Yeah, they're dark. They're like a dark root. Um, the ones on the bottom look lighter, but these are like a root bear or, or an amber like glass dark citrine type of color. And they got some articulation, at least two inches. So they're nice. They are clips. I don't see a signature on. Don't mind my thing that I'm using here. The earring backing's a little beat. I need new ones, but I I won't buy them yet. <laughs> I just can't. Okay. A um, couple more things, and then I'll, I think... Yeah, I'm like, oh, there's some weight. Well, no, I thought these were really beautiful Monets. Look at them. Um, they're signed Monet in the back. They are, you see crystals in, and they have that, uh, that Monet color, um, triple plating on them. You got crystals. There's two of them. They were like a, like a half a hoop. Do you see my eye in the hole there? What else? These are Trafari. I think Trafari TM, which is like 90s or 2000s, beautiful purple stone and, and uh, purple rhinestone and then clear all around. These are pierced and they are about an inch. There's the back. I thought they were really pretty, actually. Don't you think? Beautiful. And I don't know who these are. They do have the little crystal in the back. Um, they're unmarked. I'm thinking, Kate, I don't see a spade. I'll look. I'm going to hang them up just to show them. These are little hoops and crystals, multiple colors, kind of like pastel. That's where I just had a pair of these. I don't know if I even sold them. I may still have them. Jewelry's building up. Um, I will do a, uh, a preview video showing you what I've selected and picked out to come on Saturday. They'll come out sometime tomorrow. And then I may go to an estate sale on Saturday, so there may be surprises. But these are... Crystals, you have some purple, some, I feel like my lighting's rough. Like, I turned lights off in the back. But anyways, they're a pair of hoop, little uh, fat hoop earrings. Let me show you the little gold earrings I have. They're 14K. And I have I have two, I believe these, let me show these real quick. I was hanging up here. I think these are, are Swarovski. I've got to look at them closer because my eyes, I have to. I have to look at them under bright light and everything to make sure and, and check them out. But uh, they they have, like, there's things you tighten on the back. And uh, clear and then colored rhinestones. Really pretty bracelets combined. Okay, there's two of them. You have the clear crystals with that um, drawstring. I forget exactly what you call that. Okay. And then um, there's the multiple color one with uh, purple... All kinds of colors, a lilac, a, a, a clear, uh, sapphire blue, topaz blue, peridot, made to look at like the gemstones, gold plating, and again has that back there. I do think they are Swarovski. Um, I don't know if they're brand, but they're definitely crystals. Little pewter angel, because why not? I'm going to get to the other things in a minute. And this is gold plating um, vintage, and that is a real pearl in there, and it's rather nice as well. All right, this is the James Avery cuff. It's, I think it's 28.9 grams, I believe. And it has a Kendra Labra, and I believe this is a vintage piece. It's signed Stir J.A. I'm going to look it up. It has the Kendra Labra in there. Um, which side? I want to see if I can't show it to you. It gets, it gets hard. Okay, it's down here in the corner. It's there, okay, um, I'll show it better. I'll show it in my preview video. I'll be camera down for that, okay? Um, this is coming Saturday. I'm going to hold on to the Saturday or Monday. It will be held on to if the other items that I said I would hold on to. But it's a nice cuff. I think it's a retired James Avery. It has a Kendra Labra. Um, it's handmade piece. Um, it's nice, and it has the J.A. and Stir for Sterling. And then there's a little pair of... I think these are a gram each. I, I have to weigh them and everything. They're light. Okay, that's what I'm saying. These are rubies in 14 karat gold. Let me see. 
rubies, and 14 karat gold. Nice, nice little earrings overall. All right, so two pairs of gold earrings, a James Avery cuff, a watch that I think is fabulous, and a Sopana and the other pearls that have to be investigated to see if they're fresh water or better. Um, yeah, these earrings are amazing, and I love the Cora piece. So let me know what your favorite piece was. Um, so I, I, I said a few things that I'm holding. It's not a whole lot. Anything I didn't say, I wasn't. How, well, in the K24, too, I, um, I'm going to research it a little bit better, too. But, I, you know, everything's up for sale eventually at some point. But let me know if you saw anything you wanted. And let me know what your favorite piece was. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for watching my video. Did I say Pete or peace? Peace. Um, I will talk to you all later. Uh, again, I, I'll put up some kind of, I not some kind, I'll put you up a preview video tomorrow showing you some of the stuff that's coming Saturday. And I'll try to go out to an estate sale during the day um, so I can have some surprise things as well. I'll just highlight maybe 10 or 12 pieces and the other will be a lot more as well that will be coming. Thank you. Have a good day or good evening. Bye.